This is the Losi Pro Moto, a one quarter scale motocross bike. I'd probably say it was the coolest and the most innovative RC product of 2023. So this was released last year, I think it was around like July time. And then in the UK, we didn't get it till I think it was about December. Anyway, since I got mine, as you can see, I've been having a lot of fun with it. This isn't an unboxing and review because there's a million of them on YouTube. So I thought what I'd do when I received mine was just run a load of packs through it get used to it, see what it could do. And then my plan has always been, as soon as I saw the super moto wheels and tires you could get and all the different trim. I mean, it looks cool, but my plan was to make it look even cooler. I mean, you've seen the thumbnail, you know, it's not gonna stay looking like this. Before I show you all the bits and pieces I've got for it, I shall show you some highlights of, well, the fun I've had with this. Now, as much as this thing is really cool and like I said, really innovative, the engineer that's gone into this is crazy, it takes quite some time to get used to driving it. So what you're watching now is about 40 seconds of it jumping and driving okay. Now there was more footage than this, but this is just gonna give you an indication of how frustrating this thing can be if you don't find the right area for it. It needs a massive open space because it obviously turns like a normal motorbike. You have to go quite wide. That was a great jump. 40 seconds of some quite cool jumps. This is how many times I had to pick it up just to get these shots. We'll count together. <laughs> Flew on that one, right. Anyway, I think that was probably the last jump. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. It's a long walk. 13, 14, and finally 15. Now that was just while the camera was rolling. <laughs> it was a lot more than that. So if you buy one of these, you're certainly gonna get your steps in. So my advice would be, if you are gonna get one of these, make sure you got quite a nice wide open space to run it and you'll have a lot of fun. Anyway, let's have a look at the bits we've got and then we'll crack on with, well, 
cleaning it first, I guess. They're making it look even cooler. I can imagine a lot of these have been sold to people that ride full-size motocross bikes. And these would be so much fun on a proper motocross track. Anyway, what have we got here? So these are Proline Supermoto wheels and tires. S3 compound, which I think is relatively soft, yeah. Yeah, that is nice and soft, so. Some Supermoto tires, rear, that's the rear one. Got some new black clothes of him to go with the uh, theme. All the black trim. Probably not gonna use any of them stickers because I want it all uh, black. And then we got this awesome scorched swing arm. That's gonna look so nice, all the black on that bike and then this nice alloy swing arm. Comes with like their little sort of, it's like a mini rotor lock system, I guess, uh, for adjusting the chain. And then to pair up with that, I've got a scorched rear sprocket. That's two teeth less, so that's 34. I think the one on there is a 36. It does about 40 mile an hour, but that should just give us a, a little bit more top speed. Little package from 413RC. I'll leave a link to his YouTube and his Etsy, where he does stuff like this. Actually, before I show you that, I'll just show you one of my hoodies there. How cool is this? A little hoodie for the rider. Da 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 da. How cool is that? I got a black one here as well, and that's a reflective one for some maybe some stealth night riding. So big shout four one three RC for sending them to me. It's gonna be the coolest dude in town. Oh man, this thing is gonna look so good. Right. Anyway, so first thing I do is take all the panels off and start cleaning it up, um, and then we'll get the rear swing arm on and then we'll put all the black panels on. Oh, I've also got some carbon fiber. It's like a satin carbon fiber. I don't think I'm gonna put it on every panel, but I might try and put some of this on. So it's either gonna have some carbon fiber or if it looks crap, then I'm gonna take it off. There we go, all stripped down. Well, apart from the swing arm, but I'm gonna get it all cleaned up first, and then I think I'll probably have to take a bit more of this stuff off to get in there to get that thing out. And that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Clean it, sort the swing arm out. Then we can start the panels and get the wheels on, and yeah, I don't think this is gonna take me that long. There's all your gubbins inside. That's your motor, 3,800 kV, and then that is your flywheel. So that spins around in the middle, and then that's what keeps it stable, like, like an onboard gyro, so it keeps it stable so swing off you have to take quite a bit off you have to take the slipper off slide this gear out undo all the suspension stuff and then it well pops off so apart from the middle bit now pretty much strip the whole thing down but uh that is going to go in there and look awesome i've just got to transfer over the bearing but i can't imagine it's going to be too hard So swing arms on, I've just got to transfer a few bits over. Um, and because we've got a slightly smaller sprocket, I need to shorten the chain. So I've removed, just undone it like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it all on there and then we'll wrap the chain around. I think it's two links that I need to remove, but I'd rather get it on there and sort it out rather than just taking two links out straight away when it might only be one. But it's a bit fiddly to get the links out because it's, it's quite a bit smaller than a normal bike chain. So I did use my bike chain tool but it's a bit big just managed to push it out enough to then get that in there in the vice and just knocked it out using that so what we need to do is take that and swap over the bearings and uh, the other bits and pieces and then stick the new sprocket on
So all you have to do with this, you see I've taken two links out now and the chain's a little bit loose. You just nip these up just a tiny bit, these little pinch bolts, and get an Allen key in there. And you'll see when I turn, you see it turns and tightens the chain. So just need to get the tension on that and then pinch these up. And that should now lock that in place. I think that's about the right tension. You don't want it like too tight, but you don't want it flopping about. I've tensioned the chain properly. I had a quick look to see what the tension should be. So I've tensioned it properly. And now, running way smoother. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna switch the disc over and the bearings onto the front wheel. We're gonna throw the front wheel on. Uh, and then we're gonna get all the trim sorted. So like I said, I've got some carbon vinyl. I'll show you on this panel how I'm doing it. So first thing you need to do is uh, obviously try and get the weave to all go the same way. Otherwise when all the panels join up, it can look a bit um, off. And I just roughly draw around it, leaving about, I don't know, quarter of an inch, something like that. So rough shape of it. Cut it out with the world's biggest scissors. A little bit of soap. Then I place it lightly down, making sure there's a bit of overlap. Then I use a heat gun. Don't get it too hot, you'll melt everything. Then I just push it round all the shape of the panel. If you want a little bit of overlap so you can wrap the vinyl round. Folding them over. Not burning my hands, ouch. So I did start putting all the panels on just plain black and carbon, but it looked a little bit boring. So I put a few stickers on and on this one, I'm gonna use the sticker, but I'm cutting the white out so it shows the carbon through. But then you've still got some of the nice decals. Or decals as some of you will call them. Nice. You ready to see the final product? It looks almost how I pictured it. Like I said, I put a few stickers on because all carbon was just a little bit too much, so it looks beautiful. The scorched swing arm, tires. Oh, I've also taken the stabilizers off. I've got a really nice place I wanna take it, and it'll look so much better if I can get some cool shots without them on. Possibly be the perfect skate park for this thing. Well, I brought it here thinking that this would be a cool little playground for it, but it's just too wet. It just slides over. Just about get it, but as soon as it hits that wet, look. <laughs> it's just way too slippery for it. I reckon I could get a few little jumps in with it if I could just... Oh. <laughs> right, stabilise on, listen to it. It sounds like a jet starting up. All right, here we go. Oh, it's getting his hoodie dirty. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I wish I'd got that low down on slow-mo. So we'll definitely scrub that place off as a, uh, a bit of a fail, but definitely want to revisit there back in the summer because I think that's going to be a cool playground for this thing. So we'll just stick to uh, this nice open uh, car park and no stabilizers on it this time it looks so much better <laughs> you just have to be really gentle with it oh man it dries really nice without them when it's dry you can lean right over definitely one of the coolest things that came out last year <laughs> Thank you.
Actually, when you, when you haven't got the stabilizers on, his foot just touches the floor. So as long as you're careful. Oh, man. So there you go, that is the Losi Promoto Supermoto, and it's awesome. <laughs>